court trial can be a daunting experience and you may not know what you have to do. But don't worry, Voice is here to help. Giving your evidence is an important part of the process and may offer the judge credible reason to bring the defendant to justice for what they have done. The length of a court trial differs from case to case. It all depends on whether the person accused of the crime pleads guilty or not guilty. If the person pleads guilty, then there won't be a trial. Maybe just a few short speeches made by the prosecution and the defense. If they plead not guilty, then a date will be set dependent on the complexity of the case and the number of witnesses needed. It is normal for the court process to take a few days, especially if the crime is serious. On the day, the jury is sworn in and the charges are read out. At this point, the defendant will make their plea, guilty or not guilty. It is possible they might change their plea to reduce their sentence and plead guilty despite having earlier done the opposite. To start things off, the barristers will make speeches outlining the case and will then call witnesses to give evidence in person or read out their statements. The usual way to give evidence in court is to stand in the witness box in view of the court. But if you are feeling worried about confronting the defendant, special measures may be put in place at the judge's discretion to reduce that anxiety. This could include giving evidence from behind a screen or from another room via video link. For some people, giving evidence in court can be very difficult and children under 17, victims of sexual offences and people with communication difficulties are offered extra support. Following the prosecution case, the defence can then call any witnesses to support their case. Once the witnesses have given their evidence, both sides will make a summarising speech to the jury. The judge will then sum up the key evidence and advise on the law. The jury will then go away and consider whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. If the defendant is found not guilty on all charges, they will be released without any further action. If they are found guilty, then the judge will pass a sentence. Sentencing will often occur on a separate date to that of being found guilty. To learn more about what sentences can be given, watch our next video.